Hello and welcome to Stoke on Trent College and to this overview of the measures that we are putting in place to ensure everyone's health and safety on return to study in September. We hope you are coping well with the restrictions that everybody is experiencing due to the COVID-19 outbreak. It has certainly been a disruptive time for many individuals and the educational sector is no exception. However, we are sure that we'll be up and running and returning to high quality education very soon. To help reassure returning and new learners to the college, we're hoping to showcase the measures that we have taken to allow you to feel safe when you start or return to study in September. The college is monitoring all the latest advice issued by the government and we will change our practices to meet any of the latest advice. We are currently planning and operating on two metre social distancing, with one metre distancing by exception where two metre distancing cannot be maintained for our 16 to 19 population. For any person coming into the college, we would like to reinforce five key messages. These are guidelines that are used by any organisation during this pandemic. The five messages are, observe and follow all college signage, adhere to social distancing inside and outside of the college, sanitise and wash hands regularly, follow the college's one-way systems and report any symptoms that you may have. With these messages in mind, we would now like to show you around the college and highlight the measures that we have taken to ensure your safety from September. All college buildings have a clearly signed one way in, one way out system. On entering the buildings, please ensure you follow the signs and only enter by the correct entrance. Once in the building, you will have the opportunity to sanitize your hands, which we expect everybody to do so. On entry to the main hub building, Visitors will have to sign into the college and pick up a lanyard identifying them as a visitor. All visitors are accompanied to their destination by another member of staff. Learners will be provided with their student lanyard during enrolment, therefore be able to proceed directly to their classroom by the one-way system. It is possible that temperature check is in place at the reception area from September for all visitors and students to our premises, but we are monitoring all the latest advice from the government. Currently, we are checking temperatures of all staff and students entering our premises and have implemented a track and trace system. The wearing of face coverings in education settings is not a requirement. However, we recognise that some students may be travelling on public transport and may wish to wear face coverings depending on their individual situation. Once in college, one-way systems are up in every building to ensure social distancing is maintained at all times. This is especially important during heavy footfall times in social areas and corridors such as before and after lessons, lunch time and break times. However, we have timetabled staggered lunch and break times as much as possible to reduce numbers in social areas at any one time. Staircases are clearly labelled to indicate whether they are to be used for ascending to higher floors or for descending to lower floors. All our classrooms have been assessed to determine the maximum number of learners able to be accommodated and desks are spaced out to ensure social distancing is adhered to. Staff will be in place before lessons commence to ensure that there is not a queue built up in the corridor prior to the lesson, and learners will be released from class in a controlled manner to avoid a crowd at the door. In computer rooms, only every other monitor will be available to use, ensuring learners are not close to each other and keyboards, desks and other surfaces will be cleaned on any changing class. Timetables will be structured to allow any class to have the same room all day where possible, to reduce the need to clean keyboards, tables, seats, etc. But all rooms will be cleaned on a daily basis and equipment such as keyboards on any changeover in use. In workshops such as the hair salon, again only every other bay will be used by the learners. PPE will be mandatory and provided where necessary and regular cleaning will take place, especially on changeover of users. Social distancing will be monitored and expected around all areas of the college. To support this, all college food outlets will operate a one-way system and floors will be marked to indicate the appropriate social distancing. Tables will also be marked out to indicate where learners are able to sit to maintain social distancing guidelines. Facilities such as the Students' Union will initially remain closed as social distancing 
cannot be reasonably catered for in these areas. As you can see, we are following all the guidelines that have been issued by the government and will continue to do so until everything returns back to normal. In addition to the physical measures put in place to promote social distancing, we are also planning alternative methods of learning. This will involve an increased reliance on the college's virtual learning environment, Canvas. When this is in place, we will not be expecting every learner to be in college every day or even every week. Our learners will be supported to complete the more theoretical aspects of their course via remote learning from home. It is important to us that no learner is disadvantaged in their ability to access resources and learning or to achieve their qualification. So during enrolment, tutors will chat with each learner to make sure they fully understand their individual timetable and that we understand how we can best support each learner to access learning and achieve their qualification. The extent of the measures put in place will be governed by any guidance coming out from the government and what the current pandemic situation is in September. However, please be assured that the safety of our learners, our staff and our visitors is at the forefront of everything we do and we will continue to provide high quality education despite the restrictions that are put in place. Over the summer, we will continue to put updates on our website so that you can access the latest information. But for now, we thank you for your support and for choosing Stoke on Trent College as your educational provider. And we look forward to seeing you all in September. Thank you very much.